my uh, girlfriend at the time, now wife, uh, wanted to ride the Around the Lake Taupo cycle race. It's a famous race here in New Zealand. And uh, she didn't want to ride the whole way by herself, wanted some help to pull her around. We were poor students at the time, couldn't afford anything flash, but we got an old burly rock and roll touring. Never looked back from there really. Um, we decided we needed a full suspension bike, but uh, we're still poor students. Couldn't afford one. They were like $7,000 without even a shock um, in New Zealand at the time. So I costed it all up and decided I could buy everything I needed to make my own one. Um, and it'd only be about $4,000. I hadn't done anything like that before. Hadn't, uh, had never welded anything. Oh, I braised something in metalwork way back at the start of high school, but um, didn't really know what I was doing at all, but spent some money and just mucked around in the shed for a while and uh, eventually learned how to do it. Uh, the biggest crash was probably about eight years ago. We had complete brake failure. Jackson was swearing and saying, that we were gonna die. Somehow I just unclipped and just pushed myself off the bank as we were hurtling down this gravel road. <laughs> Flipped, flew down the bank, and Jackson looked up and thought, where on earth is Rose? Getting it lent from one side to the other, it's, it is so stable and there's so much weight behind it that it's like steering a superbike, you know. I really push hard on the handlebars to counter steer. The wheelbase is so long that any time you go over a lump, if you're not carrying lots and lots of speed so you can jump it, you end up risking hitting your pedals. Sitting on the back of a tandem, you've got to be quite neutral. You can't lean to the left or right. It's a bit like being a pillion on the back of a motorbike. You don't want to throw your weight around too much. 